Florida. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Welcome to our family night. And I am so excited about our guest speaker, Ms. Brittany. I got to lead her team's team call the other night, and they were just precious. I loved it. It was awesome. I'm going to go through a couple announcements, and then I'm going to introduce Ms. Brittany, and then we're going to get rolling. Um, so uh, it's only three. So first off is the Beach Bar Launch, FAQ 9754 is this month. So there's a bunch of training materials in the Beachbody Champions page on this. It gives you comparisons between different bars on the market and why this one is such a good choice for our customers. Um, so that's it, really important to check out. A super Saturday that is this weekend. Make sure that you get to a Super Saturday. I know we have a lot going in the triad for us um in our area and then the last one is the mega and deluxe packs right now in um, april are twenty dollars off so if you have someone who's interested in really going especially for those who you're getting started on 80 day obsession i really don't know how i would have done that program without recover and energize i would die <laughs> mm -hmm. so we're, we're we're missing some recover right now i've been about out of it for about a week and last week was brutal <laughs> So, um, the Mega and Deluxe Packs are $20 off this month. And without further ado, hold on. Do you want to say hi? All right. Say hi. Can you say hey, everybody? Okay. Hi. Okay. So, without further ado, sorry about that. This is Miss Brittany, and I'm pulling up her information right now. Okay, so she is a three-star diamond uh, for Team Soul Shine. She's an SC10 legend. That means she has consistently hit Success Club 10 for a year plus. Um, she started coaching in January of 2015, 2014, um, and she was working full-time. Eventually was able to go part-time at her corporate job, and then she left her job and is a full-time coach as of January of last year. So she just celebrated her one year. Ooh, yes. yes, it's awesome. That's so crazy. Brittany, if you'll share with us a little bit about your story and then yes. get into the meat of the call. I'm gonna okay. <laughs> so I am like, first I want to say like, you guys are so lucky. Rachel is amazing. Oh my God. She, my team called. Oh, I was like, yes, like she, you're amazing. So you guys, first of all, you're so lucky. I'm a mess. <laughs> so that's number one. We're just going to go with that. Um, so hopefully you'll get something out of this call. She gave me some amazing topics and I feel like all those topics relate to me. So I'm going to do them all. Like they're going to be a mix of everything. Um, so my husband's listening. He makes me ner more nervous than I already am. I know. Are you listening? Okay. No. All right. Anyways. Um, so my name is Brittany and I started coaching, like she said, January of 2014. And the reason why I started coaching was I had a baby in May of 2014. He's about to be five next month. I can't believe it. Ugh. Um, and I just could not lose baby weight. Just like, I mean, the story we all hear, I could not lose baby weight. I've always had a weight issue. Like weight has always been my problem. I was always bigger and then I lost a lot of weight and then I was bigger again. And then when I got pregnant and I don't know if you guys, I don't know if we all have kids on here. Um, you know, like you just have like this mental vision of after the baby, you look in the mirror and that's not you. Like I was so like, it was such a mind game. So I, um, October of 2013, I actually saw a T25 commercial I'd like, you know, the infomercials and I was following this girl on Instagram and Facebook and her name is Jen Richardson. You probably, you guys might, you know, Jen. Um, and I was following her. I, I don't know how we connected, but, um, I messaged her and I said, um, can I buy T25 from you? And I see that you're like a coach. What the heck does that mean? So starting off, I didn't even know that coaching was an MLM. So I had no negativity like towards that. I know we, sometimes we think in our mind, but sometimes people don't even know what it is. So you know what I mean? Like they don't really know what it is. So, um, I, I messaged her and I, she sent me links and I clicked on the wrong link and I signed up not to coach. And for some reason, so this is October, 2013. I thought that was a sign that this was not for me. So I think sometimes as coaches, we don't remember the vulnerability that we were before we were a coach. So that little stupid click that I did on accident, 
changed everything. Like I didn't want to do it anymore. That was a sign from, I don't know why, but it was a sign that it wasn't for me. So I, I called and I canceled everything. I didn't want nothing to do with it. Nothing. I wanted nothing. So it just kept, I kept watching Jen and I kept seeing her doing it. And I was like, she's so outgoing. And she was so, and this is right when she started, like right then. So I was like, you know what? She posted a quote on New Year's Eve and it was like, it's time to change. I'm going to change. So side note number two, like you never know what you're posting and how even a quote could hit somebody hard. Like they, I can hit them hard. So she posted this quote New Year's Eve and was like, I'm going to change this month or something about change. I don't know, some Pinterest quote. And I was like, you know what? That's my sign. Like, that's it. I, I'm going to sign up. So I signed up January, 2014 and I was working a full-time job. So I worked a full-time job at home, but I worked out in my little office thing. And we have like a little built, I don't know. We had a little office and, um, I worked from three, three in the afternoon till 1 a.m. And it was just like a clock in, clock out. Like I couldn't, it was just like working. I couldn't be with the kids. My husband had to be home. It was just like going to work, but I worked out there. So I did that while I was doing Beachbody. And I wasn't somebody who was a quick instant diamond. Well, okay. So, so kind of, so I guess I, I became diamond in six months. That's a normal kind of thing. And I just, I just worked. Like I just messaged people, but we were at a different time then, I guess, you know, like it was a different time. It wasn't 2018 to 2014, but I, I was a diamond, but I was a diamond making like $25 a week. And it, it was really, I, I would see all these people succeeding. And I was so like, why am I not doing this? Why? Like, what, what am I doing? And then I hit one star and I was like, okay, hey, I'm this one star diamond, but it means nothing to me. Like it didn't really mean anything. I guess I didn't really have a connection. I don't know. I'm kind of going off now, but it was, I was a one star diamond. And I think we all feel like when you see these one star, two star, three star that were making so much money and like life is perfect and blah, blah, blah. When it's not, you know, like, I guess I had to realize I, I didn't understand. First of all, I didn't understand anything about the compensation plan. So I wasn't educated. So that's a, definitely a note. Educate yourself on the compensation plan. Again, I was a one star diamond making like $25 a week. So it wasn't like I was, I wish I would have educated myself more on that. So I always really try to tell my coaches, you can be any, you could, you could be an Emerald coach making more money than a diamond coach any day, like any day it really doesn't matter until you're maxing out that compensation plan. So that was huge for me. Um, so I was a one-star diamond for about a year and a half. I don't know my things are about a year and a half. I could not move up. I just, I just couldn't, but I kept working and I kept hustling. And I said, um, I'm going to go. I, so I, I built and I hustled up until, I don't know, I was making a significant amount income wise. Um, to go part time in my job, in my job out there. So then I did that, and I went to like nights, five nights a week or four nights a week, something like that. And I just, I had to make it work. I just had to make it work. So I finally found an amazing coach that helped me build my team. I guess I, I, I recruited an amazing. I've recruited a lot of coaches, but that's another thing I want to add is that you don't have to ha have hundreds, hundred good coach, you know what I mean? A hundred dedicated coaches. I have three dedicated coaches, like three, three dedicated coaches and a bunch of part-time coaches. You know what I mean? Like it's not, you don't have to find all the <laughs> superstar diamonds. If you at least have three, two, actually, I, I mean, really legitly, I only have like two, like really strong coaches. And the rest are hobby coaches and that's fine because that's where they are in life, you know? Um, okay. So where was I? <laughs> so I was talking about my, where am I? Okay. So I have that. So I was able to go to two star. I finally found somebody who wanted to run with this. I, I found this, my girl. And then I went to, um, a, a year later, I went to three star. So again, I'm definitely not an instant success. I'm a, year long person. <laughs> I'm, I'm a year person. Um, so let me get into the topics. Let me get into the meat. So you guys can take, hopefully take some good stuff out of this. Um, so first I want to talk about not relying on your upline and Rachel, you really inspired me about this because 
my upline is very big. Like, you know, it's very hard when your upline is very, it's not, it's not very hard, but it's very easy to rely on that person and kind of want to become that person. And that was something that I had a huge issue with is that I was looking at Jen and I was like, she's so perfect. I need to be that person. I need to copy exactly what she does. I need to do this. And that's, <laughs> that's not me. And once I realized that that person is amazing, but it's just not me. And I just, I'm a mess. I'm just, I'm a disaster. <laughs> I feel like my life is a disaster. I'm just, yes. <laughs> so as, when I realized that I was like, okay, I started to attract like-minded disasters, I guess. And we all kind of feel that we're not perfect. And then we attract the unperfect people. And I, I would be intimidated with some, like I get nervous around people. I don't know, like who are so fancy to, you know, like I just get nervous around people like that. So I like to attract the people who are like me. Um, and definitely just going in and just taking control of your business. Nobody, nobody, being your own boss is such a crazy thing because nobody tells you you have to do stuff. But for me, like I have to do this. I have to make an income every month or I have to go back to work and I'm not doing that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's it. Like I am not doing that. I have to do this. And sometimes like I, I get, I get upset. I get, why is this person returning? What the heck? Like that bothers me, but it just cannot, you cannot let those things stop you because next week's going to be a different week. I had a couple weeks ago, I had a low week and I had to tell myself, you know, it's okay. Like, am I going to quit because I had a lower paycheck? No. What would I do without this community? What would I do without this? No way. So you have to take control of your business and realize that this is your business. This is your paycheck. This is you doing what you want to do with it. That's basically what I had to tell myself. Um, and I, I try not to go, I, well, I don't know. Like I try to, with my team, I try to just do things jointly. So I don't have to, um, I don't really go when I, I guess when I started, I went to Jen a lot, but then after, like, I kind of just rely on my team and we are a team and we come up with things together. Um, so I would just really suggest coming up to things together. And we also do Rachel, what you guys do is a team challenge group. I think that's so much better than running your own group. I, that's so hard. <laughs> like I just, I can't, I can't do it. No. Um, so rocking coaching, I'm going to go, so that was your self-starter. I'm going to go to rocking coaching part-time. So like I said, I went from my full-time to my part-time job. Um, and, I, and I have two kids. I have a, I, now I have two kids. I have a son who's four and I have a daughter who's two. And there, if that's a part-time job in itself. Hello, like that right there. Oh my God, that is a part-time job in itself. It is so freaking hard. Who, yes. It's hard. Um, so I just have to find spurts of the day. I find little time during the day to really just power through. And I love what you said the other day. I'm totally like bouncing off of Rachel. <laughs> I'm stealing yourself. Um, it was, I love what you said. Like we do this to want to be with our kids. Like why are, you know, like you have to set a, a set time apart. But I think the thing is that we set the time apart and we don't actually do it. You know what I mean? Like you have to actually do it. You have to message people. You have to get out of those comfort zones. You have to relate to people, I guess. Um, the next, so, so rocking part time is totally doable. And it's, and to be honest with you, I, I'm, I'm a full-time coach now, but Beachbody has helped me and my husband. Um, we, we've opened up, we have a mattress store. <laughs> we sell mattresses. So I kind of, I do both. I do mattress. We have two mattress stores and I do Beachbody. So I'm kind of doing it full-time, part-time now. Um, so it's totally can be done. It can be done. And it's so possible. Um, you just have to really work the time that you have and also really figure out what, what activities are going to give you the most, most back, I guess, you know, like if you have 10 minutes, maybe just doing a quick Instagram follow. Like how many people can I follow? Another thing I do to my, like I do to myself too, is like, if I can get to a hundred, like, you know, like I kind of like play games with myself. It's so weird, but I'm like, I have to, you know, like I have to hit 10 in 20 minutes or something along those lines. Um, 
So the value of a free group. I think you guys are going to get the most out of this for me because I do free groups. I've done free groups totally different and free groups are, this is basically what has built my business and how I found good people. So I don't do free groups like Beachbody tells us to do free groups. I don't do that. Um, it kind of like was a fluke. So I became pregnant with my daughter um, in October of 2000. I don't know. No, I'm not pregnant. I had my daughter in October, 2015. As soon as I became pregnant with my daughter, I opened, I said, you know, it would be really cool if I had an October's mom group. Simple. So I opened up an October's mom group. I went on all the, the little groups. I messaged, I, I posted like, do you guys want to join my group? then um, add me as a friend on Facebook. I went on, you guys know the what to expect boards. I went through each board, each group thread. Have you guys seen that, that what to expect app? I went through each thread and I would consistently just say, hey, my name is Brittany, come and add, um, you can add me on Facebook if you wanna join a fit group, um, let me know. And then, so I would do October. I started with October. And then one of the moms who's not even a coach was like, Brittany, you could, you could add so many people if you open this up as a huge group to moms, like to pregnant moms. And I was like, dang, like she's so right. So I just would go through every single month of pregnant moms and post in the what to expect. Hey, and I can send you guys what I say because I still do it. Hey, my name's Brittany. Um, I'm having my baby in October. I started this fit group. There's no judgment, blah, blah, blah. Like there's no judgment at all, whatever. So I called it fit pregnancy and it blew up. And, but the thing is I made these people add me to be my friend. Like they had to be my friend to be in this group. So I would add my Facebook because Facebook's really my jam. Like I'm, I'm not a good Instagram person. Um, so I would just add them and add them and add them. And it like became huge. So then when we had, when I had the babies and we all had them, it was like, well, what do I do now? So then I was like, okay, I'm going to open up a postpartum group, fit mom postpartum. So we opened up that group and then I would just go in and I would add people and add people and add people and they would just add. And it was so crazy. So now it's up to over 3000 people. Um, we've changed the name a little bit. So now it's fit, fitish moms postpartum and beyond. So I can talk, I can ask people like, who are in the same stage as me, as in the toddler stage with me. Hey, I have this group. We work out sometimes. We also eat cupcakes. There's no judging involved. <laughs> That's it. Like then we drink wine. And now it's over 3,000 people. And it's, it's really been like, it's been everything to me. And the cool thing about it is, is I post, and there's one, I have a rule for myself in this group. I speak nothing of Beachbody in this group. I never talk about, I never say Shakeology is on sale. I talk about nothing. I say, hey, I got my workout in. I did 21 day fix or whatever. If we, if I even talk about that in the group or I'll say like, they know that I'm a coach. Like they already know I'm a coach because of everything I post on my personal page. So I'm not harassing them in the group. I don't say anything. I just talk about what I'm doing. They know me. I share like my whole life in this group. So they know me, like we're all, I feel like I have 3,000 best friends. So they come to me, like they come to me, they know I do Beachbody because I'm, I'm always consistently talking about it on my personal page. So that right there has been, that's every, that's been everything for me. It really has. And I have consistent customers from there. I have new customers. I have people who, you know, I have coaches. I've met half of those people that you saw, Rachel, they're all from my group on my team call. They're all from my group. So my, my advice to you would be, it doesn't have to be a pregnancy group. It doesn't have to be anything. Just find that market, make a group, add them in, provide yourself, be you, be real, talk about your life and become best friends with these people. I am very open and very honest, sometimes a little bit too open. Like they know my whole life, but also people don't want to buy from somebody they don't know and they don't, they don't feel, they don't understand. You know what I mean? So that is something I hope you guys got out of that because that's something that I've, I, that's like everything. It's like my whole business is right there. And my business didn't start taking off until then. So you put, I'll, I'll do the comment. I'm going to do the, the questions after. Okay. Um, 
and we can talk about the free group. I'll tell you everything. I'll, yeah, you'll, I'll tell you the whole thing. And we have rules that are like funny, like drink up butter. <laughs> it's like funny stuff. Um, okay. So, um, one more thing. So what to do when you lose excitement. So I lose excitement all the time. <laughs> I was just talking to my team about how freaking hard 80 day obsession is like what? Like those hour workouts. And they're like, you need to get it together. <laughs> you need to stop talking. Cause I was like telling everybody, why are they an hour long? But they, my team was like, you need to stop talking, get your life together. It's time for you to get up early and do it. So now I have to, I know like, what? cause I was totally, and they noticed it too. Cause I was doing like 22 minute hardcore and our dupe channel was like, yeah, look at my picture. No, they're like, well, what are you doing? Mm -mm. So now I got to get back to doing it, but you just have to, you guys have an amazing family here. If you lose excitement, talk about it. Cause I promise you someone else is going to tell you like, get up and do it. It's you know, like you have to. And another thing like pro of starting a new program always makes me excited. Um, just, um, being around other coaches, like the super Saturdays and stuff like that, that always makes me so excited. Um, yeah, I, I'm always complaining to my husband, like I'm losing excitement, but that's a business. Like, you know, like that's business. That's, you're not going to be a thousand percent all the time. Like right now I'm, I'm good. But yesterday I was like, I hate ADD obsession. This is stupid like, too. No, I really do, <laughs> but it's okay. Cause I have to keep going. Oh, and I did this whole, but you know, another thing is when you lose excitement, you can even talk about it with your followers. Like I posted on my Instagram. I was like, I hate ADD obsession. I told my coaches, I basically, I needed a coach. I needed myself to pick me back up. So now tomorrow I have to set my alarm and just do it. So just talk, I think talking about it for me, talking about it is huge. Um, when I lose motivation, um, and also in, like, let's be real, like income, like when my income goes down, like the, like I told you guys last week or a couple weeks ago, my, I had a low paycheck. I was like, no, <laughs> oh, I'm not going back to work. <laughs> so I was like, I need to get, get going. Post a challenge. I posted something about a bikini challenge the other day and that really boosted me up again. Like I, I knew people wanted to be around. Me. <laughs> so that was good. So post about a group, post about a challenge group, see what you get. You don't just post about it once. Keep talking about it. Like annoy people to death. So they know that you're, that they know that you're talking, you know what I mean? They, they know that you're still running. Cause sometimes I get into that too. Like I post one time and then I, and that's it. And I think nobody wants to join, but if I have to consistently post, then I'm good. I think that's it. <laughs> I think awesome. Gonna... awesome. Thank that's you good. so okay. much. Okay. So y'all put your questions in the chat. I know I have like five. So okay. um, we'll, let's go over Elena. So she says, what do you post? Okay. That was one of my questions too. What do you post and talk about in your free group? Um, and she's never been a part of a free group outside of a challenge group. So talk about kind of what content you're putting What's in there. Yeah. So I talk about everything. Like I talk about my kids. I mostly don't even talk about fitness stuff to be real. I talk about today. I was talking about how I disciplined my son. Like, and I stuck to my guns about not bringing him to the park when he just was throwing mattresses at the mattress store. Like I talk about things like that. It was so, it was so crazy. It was insane. Um, but I just talk about life stuff but I think you have to build up to that too yeah. so if I start if you start a group just talk about you could start talking about fitness like once in a while I'll throw in a fitness post but it's more become more of a like mommy group more mm -hmm. so than a fitness so so people talk about like issues like whenever I have a problem I talk about it in there they talk about their marital issues these people go deep guys and the, the trust is built from that you know, like the, the, the foundation of trust is built because I've been open and honest and I've allowed that. And we also talk about a lot of like hot topic stuff too, that moms don't want to talk about like vaccine, like stuff that I honestly, I don't care about, but they like to talk about stuff like vaccines and they like to talk about things like that. But I've set a straight rule. There is absolutely no judging involved in this group. So if you're going to judge, you get the boot and I put the little boot emo. Emoji, emoji because it's just not going to work and I think it's so different than any other um mom group you know like because we were off we're all part of mom groups like there's oh my god 
<laughs> they're so like annoying. So I tried to really, really make this different. Not saying there's problems. There's definitely been like issues like pop up, like people with opinions, but it's just solved. Um, so we just talk about everything and, and people share, um, people share others like they don't share they don't really share too many other there's oh there's no selling involved that's one thing if you sell something you're getting the boot uh -huh. because if i'm not allowed to talk about beach body you're not allowed to talk about your baloney either so so no one's allowed to sell a thing and yeah and nothing and it just and it also i feel like it, it not really gives me an edge but it makes me stand out because they know like i am this, I don't, I, I never, my husband's gonna like, like, stop talking about this because I talked about this one time and on like Robbie's call or whatever. And I was like, oh no. But I really try to be like not so beach body, to be honest. Like, I really try to not be beach body. I try to just be a friend who loves workouts that work out, who drinks a shake that has helped me so much. And that's kind of it. Like, that's basically me. Like, I, that's it. And I, I try to make myself not like that, which is so mean because I mean, I look at them, you know. I mean, it's the whole concept of you're not selling a product; you're selling you. You're exactly. You're coaching. And I, exactly, and I I see people who are so amazing, and and they they it's just the same stuff all the time. Like it's the same. I see this coach, I see this coach and it's just the same stuff. And I'm like, Oh my God, like I cannot, I just can't. And when I was doing that, it just wasn't, I wasn't feeling like me. So when I became friends with a bunch of girls who wanted to do, who, who needed help, who, who needed this. And I'm not saying 3000 of these girls have bought from me. Absolutely not. Like that's not it. There's a ton of them that I've helped without selling them anything. There's also a ton of them who, who have, you know, and it just by me just being me and me talking about on my personal page uh, some beach body stuff once in a while. So with this group, um, it's ongoing. It never stops, right? Thank never you. stops. Nope. Adding to it. Okay. Um, yep. So for someone who's wanting to start a group like this, um, mm -hmm. one, if you don't have, because I feel like postpartum and pregnancy, and and that's an it's an easy niche, like. As far as if you're in that season of life, it it's, e it's easy to go that route. Mm -hmm. If you're not in that season of life. So like we have a lot of people, we have people on this call who are um, not married, who don't have kids. Okay. We have the other okay. end. We have people who are full-time career women and who's mm -hmm. older. So how would you go about finding a free group that fits the niche for them? Like where, where oh. would you go with that? So it's so weird. I feel like I attract a lot of not pregnant people. Like, yeah, you know, like on my team, like I have coaches who are not, um, are not, you know, like are not, they're, they're in different seasons of life than that. So I have one coach, her name is Yariella and she is truly amazing. So we've had this conversation. She doesn't have kids. She works full time. She's like, what am I going to do? Like, what, what is me? So we talked about this free group. So she started this group called the good vibes tribe. And it is so awesome. She has so many people in this group and they just, they work out. She does little challenges for them. She's just all good positivity. Like that's her niche is the niche, whatever. That is her positivity. Like she, that's her niche is just being uplifting and people want to be around her and not just for beach body stuff. They just want to walk. They just want to see her because she's so uplifting. She's the one who told me to get, get off. You need to jump. You need to stop and do it. So I think if, so like I saw, um, not me, I saw somebody say I'm getting married. So definitely I would start, like I would go on the knot and I would do that. And I would go and I would say, I'm getting married this day. Like, let's start a wedding group, you know, add me on Facebook. I'm in a white dress or whatever you have on your profile. Sound completely completely on and then well I'll, I'll, how about I send you what I send to people yeah. I'll, I'll send that to you um and you can change it so in that like I would in the rules that you have in your free group too yeah I'll send those too um I so I think that like just finding something that works for you so I have this is so weird but I have a coach who is a lesbian and that's okay and that's totally awesome so I told her to start that kind of group just start it you know and so she did and that was it so it just you just have to find, she loves dogs. So she started this dog thing. Like you just have to find 
really it kind of starts with you like find what you are like what you're doing and then you have to find you have to connect with those people and I'm telling you guys there are so many ways to connect to people other than hashtags if you like to run go on the Nike app and look at all that there's forms like there's forms of people who use the Nike app hey do you want to start a running group there's no selling involved nothing like that let's just run together running um and the season of life of just being of being older, I guess. Just what do I like to do? I don't know, like a foodie group, like something like that. And just start it with a baseline of those things, but build, connect with those people. Be raw, be real. If you say, you know what, I came home today from work and I was freaking exhausted. I ordered takeout or whatever. Like just little things like that mean so much to other people because they know that you're in the same boat as them, you know? So yeah, no, that's extremely helpful. Cause I feel like that, I mean, it really boils down to, you have to figure out who you are as a coach you have to, Mm -hmm. and and you channeling that into a free group. Um, so if for those starting out with this kind of long-term free group, do you, would you say the first month be more structured and have like a post a day or post things like that? And then as the group grows, you don't have to be quite as like, you could do that. You could definitely do that, I think. Um, or how would you like, So, <laughs> so I, 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 I would, I, you could, yeah, you could do that. Um, you could do little challenges a day. I don't, I think that would be good. I think that would be good. But do you want it to be fitness-like? See, like, I don't, I don't care about the fitness aspect of, I would rather it not be fitnessy. Because these people, I want them to see on my personal page that I'm fitnessy and that they can come to me if that. Do you know what I mean? Like, I would rather it not be, I want them to come to me. I want people to come to me. I don't want to, to be honest, like, I don't really want to, I don't want to message that many people. That's me. I don't take, (laughs) plug your ears. I don't want, I want people to come to me. So the only way they're going to come to me is if they feel comfortable with me, if I'm a friend, because just like I, when I was messaging Jen, who I love, I was so intimidated by her. And that's another thing I try not to be. I can, I, I, I'm not intimidated. <laughs> I'm not intimidating. I want people to feel, cause you know how hard it is for people to click that send button. Like I need help. Like yeah. that is so hard. And if they're messaging that to somebody that they already feel comfortable with and they already have built that foundation with, it's a little less harder. I love that. So, you know, like it's a little bit less harder. So if they're already, if you're building a relationship with them in this group, you all kind of feel like your own team. I run my postpartum group exactly the way I run my team. Like I run them exactly the same. We're open. We're honest. It's just this part is beach body. I have to give them beach body stuff. And these people, I just have to talk about regular stuff. Sometimes I even feel like I give more to them than I do to them. And it, I, I need to bounce. But um, sometimes I go live in there and like, I say like this, like the funny, like funny stories that happen, like stupid stuff. They know like there's this, I, this is so stupid, but I call my friends, um, my son's friend, wait, I have a friend, um, you know, I call it Landon's mom. Like, and they know who Landon's mom is. Like we talk about it all the time. It's like things like that. And they just, they love it. And I built such amazing friends from that. So I guess really searching for a bunch of friends and realizing who you want, who do you want your friends to be? Who do you, where do you want to check in in the morning with? Who do you want to talk to in the morning? Like that's, those are my friends. <laughs> I love that. I, re- I mean, I really feel like I mean, you can do a training on inviting and follow-ups and all that till you're blue in the face, but until you're really oh. figuring out your tribe and how to build that relationship, it's just going to fall on deaf ears. So love, yeah. that. love, love, love. Cause we, and I, and I'll be like totally transparent. Yeah. This is an area I really need to grow in. Um, and I think because I've been a coach for so long, I have a really good following, but yep. I don't know how to help my coaches build relationships and it all feel natural and following you know and they have to build that yeah and, and building that following is so huge like and that's it's sad but 
Well, I guess you have to build some type of following. Like I don't have 10,000 Instagram followers. I don't have, I, half of them are probably, I don't even know. I hired someone to do it like years ago. They're probably an act. They're probably from like, I don't even know. <laughs> like the, I have no idea. But um, you just have to find, and you could do it on Instagram too. Like I do need to get better about Instagram. Like I really do. Because I, I I'm so... <laughs> It's so hot. Yes. It's so, I, I need help. I don't know. I'm not good at Instagram at all. I'm really not. And I, and I honestly think I'm not that good at Instagram. I've been better because of the stories because I'm, people are able, cause I, I'm not a good picture taker. Like I'm not good at explaining stuff like that, but I'm good at explaining stuff like this. And I, I guess people need to see you. They need to see you. They need to see how you're a mess. Who care? Like that's what yeah. the more, the less that I became the picture perfect coach the better I did with each body and that's you know and that's just how it is that's um, for me for me uh, well I think I think this was awesome okay so last last well, maybe two questions I have one more oh it's okay so, I got nothing to do <laughs> what would the biggest I don't even want to call it mistake but what was the biggest area of growth that you feel like you learned from in your business? Like maybe an area where you wish you would have done something differently or like an area that you really grew through. Forcing people to want this business, forcing and forcing and tr trying to force people to, to understand this opportunity and forcing them how good people are just, I, I've literally like, there's so many, I can like think back of how much energy and time and time away from my kids, away from my husband that I've spent people on the phone, like giving goals and one-on-one -on -one calls with people who don't do a damn thing. Like they didn't do anything. And I, I had so many goals and dreams for them. Like I, I was like, you are going to be a diamond and you are going to do this and you're going to do that they didn't want that. So I really, the first thing I do when I sign up a coach, just tell me what you want. Do you want to be a discount coach? Amazing. You get freaking 25% off the Shakeology. That's awesome. Do you want to stay at home with your kids? Well, this is what you have to do. Like, this is not easy. It's not easy. And I love what you said the other day as you, you went on our call, like you have to, you can't make this look easy. It's not easy. And I used to kind of sugar, I used, I'm a real big sugar coater, like really big. <laughs> I love to sugar coat everything because <laughs> I hate hurting, making people feel bad. So I would just be like, yeah, you're doing fine. Like, yeah, you, you've done nothing. Like, like, I literally did nothing. Like, they're sitting there inactive. Like, I remember one time, and I, there's another thing too. You said, like, in the truck, I don't have any local coaches, none. Like, they're all internet based. Like, I don't have any, none around here, so which is okay. Fun. It's so fun having so, them. I, I wish I kind of, so I had a couple. And I remember she came over my house and we sat here for three hours, like three hours. And she just talked to me about this and that. And it like, and I was like, Oh my God, <laughs> like, Oh God. So it was good. And she was so excited. And it was so long though. Like it really drained me out. And I remember like, I didn't get to check my back office that day. And I looked and it flashing inactive. <laughs> what? And I called her and I was like, what what happened? <laughs> she was like, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you this and that. And I was like, we just had three hours. Like, what's going on? So, so that was a big, that was big. So yes, that's my big thing is really trying to force people and not getting to the bottom of what they want. Just pushing my agenda on them. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. So. <laughs> I'm going to wrap unless anybody else has questions. And then if anybody has questions after the fact, I'll just send them to you. Send them on over and I will send you. Let me write down. I'm going to send you the script. Yeah. The, what you use on the forums and then what and the, and the rules of my pen work. Okay. <laughs> great, great ideas for our yeah. team. To Yay. We're wonderful. If I don't see I hope I was okay. I was sent over. So. If anybody has questions after the fact, we'll make sure to get them over to you. Brittany, I really appreciate your time. You're welcome. Nation, you guys are wonderful. Thanks for coming on tonight. And I will post this recording later. I really appreciate your time. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.